But what's happened since COVID is they stopped, there was nobody there to process the return or the fax. Okay, so there's two ways you could do it before. You could fax it in or you could mail it in, U.S. mail. Uh, we tried both ways. Uh, we I sent some in. It took months and months and months. And that's no exaggeration because there was nobody there at the IRS to process them. These were all, uh, this was all manual labor. It had to be done manually. Well, early January, they came up with a, uh, a, a workaround, and that was you could upload it to a site on the irs.gov website, but it still had to be processed by a human being, and they had to take it and process it very similar to a fax. Then last week or two weeks ago, they came up with a new program, which is I could get it authenticated if my client goes on their own irs.gov account, and everybody has one. Uh, sometimes it's easy to get in and sometimes it's not because they ask you for some financial to verify who you are, some financial information, and not everybody has that information readily at hand. And so sometimes it makes it difficult for people to op- to get into the account. Um, but this was a couple of weeks ago. It was supposed to be, um, they call it real time. So once I put it in, once I made the authorization request, my client would okay it. And then in real time, it was okay. But that's then they then I read the small print. It said seven, you know, forty eight hours, seventy two hours. But I see that it took a little longer than that. We had some that's been processed. Again, they started this about two weeks ago. We we sent one in the first day, and um, it took about two weeks for it to get through. So uh, that's what it used to take for a fax. But it, but again, at least it didn't take months and months and months. So uh, so anyway, they've had this. So the big thing now is. The IRS is behind in everything. They're processing tax returns. They haven't sent out a lot of uh, refunds. They've been they have asked they have been asked to do extra things: stimulus checks, the uh, uh, unemployment refunds, uh, the earned income ta- tax credit, things like this that they're that they've been tasked to do. Uh, that has taken time away. I mean, the, the COVID is enough to put them behind, but they, the these other uh, duties have really added to the time of processing. So let, I wanted to. So let's let, let me go into this story. These stories today. So this is the first story. Oh my bake, aching backlog! What tax pros client tell clients about delays? So as I mentioned to you, I have a lot of clients, and we have these delays. And what do I tell people? And so I can kind of cut through the chase here. I'm gonna. I'll read most of this, but I'm gonna cut to the chase here. And that means not much. Be patient. That's all you can do is be patient. Try to make sure the IRS isn't trying to collect on things. Because of your, because of their delay, because one area of the IRS doesn't know what the other area of the IRS is doing, and so if they were expecting something, but you can't do it because it's been delayed, so they haven't processed my tax return, for instance, uh, and then I get a notice from the IRS saying that they haven't received my tax return. They did receive my tax return; they just haven't processed it yet. And the 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 area that's supposed to send me a notice that tells me I haven't filed hasn't gotten a notice that I haven't filed. I mean, that I did file. And so they sent out a notice that says I didn't file. So uh, they, they said there's, they really have two questions. Where is my federal refund? And that is a big question. I get that question a lot. What, why haven't they processed my return? And, and again, I've always kind of explained all this to you, why that is. I've informed my clients that I have a backlog with tax agencies. So my clients know that processing times are going to take much longer than normal. All we can do is check every couple of months to get a status of it. Every couple of months... So this is very, this is troubling. It is very troubling. We have many clients waiting a long time for their tax refunds, especially those who had to file or amended or paper returns. Amended returns, if you're sending amended returns or older returns, so many of my clients haven't filed in some years. And so we fi- we send in 14, 15, 16. You can't file those electronically. If I file those, and we have some that we filed more than a year ago, they still have not been processed. Okay, so we're still waiting. We check all the time. We're still waiting. They haven't been processed. Uh, and that's just the way it is. Um, one of them, uh, then they, they talked to an enrolled agent. Uh, we have enrolled agents. These are accountants. One of them has been waiting since February. And I and they have called the IRS. Wait times on the, on the line are notoriously long. And you get kicked off again. They only answer, uh, I think they don't answer 80% of all the calls. They, don't, they, don't, they say they don't have time or the manpower to answer 80% of the calls. I'm not sure if the Taxpayer Advocate Service will help, but it's just worth a shot. The Taxpayer Advocate Service is a section of the IRS supposed to be independent that helps taxpayers facilitate some action from the IRS if there's a complaint. 
Sometimes they work, uh, to be honest with you, and sometimes they don't. Um, at the end of 2021 filing season, the IRS had still over 35 million individual and in tax returns requiring manual processing, meaning employee involvement is generally required before a return can cha- advance to the next change in the pipeline. We Remember last week, we, I showed you a video of the pipeline and how this works for manually. It's a very laborious uh, endeavor and uh, it takes a long time. Now, again, we're very happy that more than 90 percent almost 95%, I believe, in 2021 this year, were processed electronically. So I don't know how they can have 35 million that have to be processed individually or by hand. I don't know how that could be. Uh, with the January, with the December 27th legislation, the IRS did not have time to adjust its systems for 21 filing season, 19 earnings to be systematically verified. The IRS had to manually verify those returns where the taxpayer elected the 2019 in, earned income to claim the earned income tax credit or the ACTC. This is the uh, in, injured spouse um, a form. I believe that's the 85, the other form that's mentioned here. So uh, the backlog was initially caused since the IRS forced to shut down during the pandemic. Then the IRS had to implement new tax incentives, including distributing three rounds of ch- stimulus checks. The good news is that the IRS is required to pay interest to those who received their tax refund 